chance, okay? Let me get back to work. Brian, this is gonna be it. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sarge, we tend to run. How long are we going to be here? I thought I saw something in our approach. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I'll be First carry, maybe. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant. Now become carry on yourself. Only animals gonna come carry in corporal, not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Speculation as to Tobinus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of reports are busy here, but have the suit on. We tell you, Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a Corvius minus or mule deer. Because I think I can check that. Striation of the larger muscle mass. Now look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would have happened? Something. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero, protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like... making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive, Orion? What? I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there. That night. Farewell. The next it's time, refugee Nero camp, protocol 2 the chapters were burning. The, I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Seven. Torn limb Nero, from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes? Okay, okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. 
you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you! Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman your wife? I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Alive. How the hell was he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen, he gave her an IV, he kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it, but he got her to mash it. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole. Uh, yeah, Dick, it's, it's all kind of blur. Yeah, yeah, okay, get some shit on those men. I'm not telling you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Dick? Soon, those are real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Shit out here again. Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Hey, how's it going? Had some time on my hands? Ah. Made you some shit. Who's your friend? Yeah, I'll stop by later. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to try. <laughs> You better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, O'Brien. Get back to me.
tracked down the chopper. Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but... No. I mean, no, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to... What? No. I mean, no, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her, where she died. Some peace. I don't need to find any peace, Jesus Boozer. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. of these nests. Guess I'll come back later. Burn out these nests. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. <laughs> Come back later, finish burning out these nests.
That's it. Let him in. Hey, what do you need? How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. <laughs> Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. <laughs> 